Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we don't have our custom tail lights anymore. Sent them over to a new company. They're gonna be taking care of the lenses. So hopefully that goes good. Hopefully we don't have any issues. Looking forward to getting back and then I'll do another video and then just basically install them. But yeah, there we have the YouTube channel. Go subscribe guys, show the support. And well, today's video, it's going to be about, I'm leaking oil from the oil cooler fittings. So basically we are going under the car and then basically I'll show you guys we are able to fix it or not. Basically for what I've seen, it's leaking from uh, two of the fittings. I'll show you guys right now when I uh, lift up the car, we go under the car and I'll show you guys where I'm leaking oil from. So basically when I got the car back, uh, we didn't check any of the fittings going to the oil cooler so basically everything is just like that so leaking oil like crazy i need to go in there and double check thank you guys for all the continued support subscribing to the channel we have the s14 and then we have g37 single turbo pushing 623 horsepower let's go lift up the car and see where we're leaking oil from thank you for the support guys let me lift up the car uh, put the bags to the max at the top and then bring you guys with me under the car so I can show you where the oil leak is. For those that are new to the channel, we have the Tesla screen, the boost controller, and like I told you guys, we're gonna swap that uh, shift knob and, and then we are getting the other part that is the short shifter, so. Yeah, stay updated for that, video's coming. Looks like we're leaking oil from the spacer and from the fittings right there. So I need to uh, lift up the car and then inspection all of these fittings and the spacer. Let's do that. All right, boys, here we have my jack and I have a jack stand. Always be careful if you're going under the car. Make sure you have safety first. As you guys can tell, we have one Jackson and we have the other one. So be careful and stay safe. All right, so if you guys can tell, we have oil from this. You guys check it out. See, there's oil right there from this fitting and the other one if you guys can check the spacer we have more oil and all of the oil already on its way over here on the back since oil it's coming from all of this it's going to the back see check this one out that's oil see what i'm thinking is these parts were installed wrong Go ahead and double check the spacer let me check it out for the fittings i don't know if i can fix them right now but what i do know is that uh we need to take off the spacer and add new silicone to it that way we don't have this issue but right now i cannot do anything because i need to take it off add new silicone let it dry so yeah that's gonna be on another video for sure Right now I'm just gonna go over the fittings and hopefully I can stop the oil leak from this. But other than that, that's all I can do right now. Just, so yeah, just calling Rudy, uh, the mechanic that went over the whole turbo setup at the top. And then just kinda ask him on what we can do right here. All right, boys, so this is gonna be the plan. I already talked to uh, my mechanic, the one that took care of the turbo. He's gonna take care of this. I have to bring it over to his shop. He's gonna get new lines for these things. Eventually he needs to inspect this and go from there. And another thing that he was mentioning, cause I, I was FaceTiming with him, all of these fittings need to go with uh, Teflon tape. That way they don't leak. And he's gonna remove uh, the spacer and the oil, oil pan. Um, basically remove everything and then put it back in with new silicone and everything that way nothing's leaking so that's the plan i'll be taking the car next week and yep 
all right time to bring the car down we remove one of the jack stands and this is how the car looks so also another question that I've been getting on the GTR manifold on my Instagram is like if it's worth it getting it or if it's not worth it and let me tell you guys that um, if you guys have the money for it go for it but it's only for looks uh, it's not gonna help you performance wise uh, if you NA and you get the GTR manifold you are going to lose about 20 to 25 horsepower so uh, keep that in mind so at that point it's only for looks uh, I didn't mind I, it didn't bother me because boost was going to make up for it so at the end of the day with the uh, OEM manifold I was gonna make like 645 650 maybe to the max that's pushing it that is pushing it but that's what um, my tuner said and he also showed me a graph of previous uh, G37s with the OEM manifold. So with the GTR manifold, we stayed at 623. I think that's the correct number. All right, boys, we're going to the gym. We're taking the car. to the gym let me show you how I air out my car with the airlift controller there you go one eternity later as you guys seen on the video I don't know if it was noticeable but uh, my tires were spinning and I can't do much about it so yeah I did a couple pulls here and there but those tires spin so I need new wheels with new tires so that's the thing that I'm trying to tell everyone I can do like really hard pulls or anything like that and I had the car basically at 400 horsepower the car was spinning that's the only issue I have right now so once I have wheels and nice tires so they can grip I'll probably bump up the horsepower to 623 and then just go for it but for now I'll just be recording clips here and there and put them on YouTube and, and on my Instagram so I have a couple videos in there so go and check them out all right I just want to mention as long as you guys keep watching my videos subscribing to the channel I'll be able to bring more videos to you guys and basically you guys keep the YouTube channel alive for those that are new to the channel thank you give a thumbs up other than that I'll end the video right here guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you guys soon